Did you know internationally acclaimed opera singer Angela Brown is from right here in Indy? Well, she is, and Patti Spitler caught up with the incredibly talented and inspirational star. Here's a sneak peek of Patti's story. This internationally acclaimed and admired opera star is, hold on, a Hoosier. You're from Indianapolis. Your tie is in Indianapolis, but you're known worldwide. Yeah, isn't that something? I'm blessed. Uh, born and raised here in Indianapolis. Went to uh, IPS School 76, Mapleton Fall Creek. Went out to Pike Township for a minute. Graduated from Christmas Addicts High School. Went to Indiana University for my graduate work. So yeah, all of my ties oh. are here in Indiana. You're known around the world. You've traveled, what, six continents with your singing and opera? How, did, how does a girl from Indianapolis get involved in opera? And a black girl, too. I'm blessed uh, to have that opportunity. I uh, never, I always say that opera chose me. I didn't choose it. I was singing a lot of, uh, especially here in the city, I did a lot of musical theater at um, Civic Theater okay. and a lot of, won a lot of awards and things. And I just knew that I wanted to be on stage my whole life. So I ended up going to Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. Then that took me back to Indiana University. Uh, to work on my graduate work and I started doing competitions. I won the Metropolitan Opera Competition in 97 and then uh, in 2004 I made my Metropolitan Opera debut that's over there on the wall and uh, they say the rest is history but and there are no overnight sensations believe me uh, I have had the opportunity to travel the world since then singing and I do a show called Opera from a Sister's Point of View. Tell me about that. Opera from a Sister's Point of View is a show that demystifies opera for audiences that normally wouldn't go. Okay. Now Miss Patty. That's a great idea. At first, okay, I thought that black people just didn't like opera but as I started doing the show I found out that uh, white people don't like opera either. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You just got to, you know, to, to let them know that it's okay and to have fun with it. And the show can be uh, uh, geared toward any audience and any time, uh, time limit. Yeah. And now, since the pandemic has happened, I have had the opportunity to uh, add an addendum to my show. So it's Opera from a Sister's Point of View, Generation Next, where I shine a bright light on the young up-and-coming black singers of opera. So I, we, I, we're just having a great time. I want, I want to hear you attempt that, Tim. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Have, uh, I, I have so much respect for, for what they do and how they do it. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. And Patty I does have it. more with Angela Brown, including how Angela's dog reacts when she sings opera. That'll oh. be 